What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher, and today we got the World War II Zombies trailer, and boy does it look good. So first, I'm going to show you the trailer, and then we're going to go ahead and break it down. I have seen the vision of our Führer's future. The death of the old world and the birth of the new. Can you hear it? Drums. The drums of war. The march of progress. I have built more than just a new kind of soldier. I have created the devil himself. Access to the private beta. So holy crap, does this look good. So this is one of the more interesting zombies reveals I've ever seen, mainly because of how bloody and gory and scary the trailer really is. Even if you look at the ground itself, the sheer amount of blood on the ground shows you that this is going to be a completely different type of zombies. And I think that's really exciting to see. Now, on top of this trailer, there was also a press conference at Comic-Con today and where they couldn't really say much about the gameplay, exactly how it was going to work, how the rounds are going to work and that kind of thing, they did give us a few tidbits of information. First of all, there is going to be perks. Whether they're going to be perks like Fate of Fortune cards, I don't really know, but there is going to be perks in one form or another. They also announced that Wonder Weapons and the Mystery Box are both coming back. On top of that, there is going to be a new special reward system. So whether that's simply a ranking up system or something else altogether, at this point, we don't really know. The other thing that they revealed at the Comic-Con press conference is, first of all, who we're playing as. So we are playing as Monument Men, which if you don't know what that is, is back in World War II, Hitler wanted to steal and destroy all of the art in the world. So there were these small groups of individuals put together to steal back the art from Hitler and take it away from him so he wouldn't destroy it. In this new Zombies map, you play as one of these small groups of people. So the small group of people goes in expecting to find and steal back some art, but what they find is obviously much, much, much worse than that. And the only other thing they really told us about the gameplay is that there is once again going to be Easter eggs hidden in the map. Now, they also told us that this is going to be the hardest Easter egg hunt ever in a Zombies map. So that's pretty exciting, but we can only take their word for it for now until we actually get our hands on it and find how hard the easter egg actually is now let's look at a couple of screenshots that have a couple of things that i think look pretty interesting so the first thing we're looking at here is right from the beginning of the trailer when they go down into the sewers and you can see all the blood on the ground now off to the left there is two buttons now assumably those are going to be trap buttons ways to turn on traps and then if you look in front of you in the picture you can see this giant kind of cage looking thing that looks like it dropped from the ceiling this to me looks like a trap however if you look beyond this cage up against the far wall there is kind of like this circular looking red thing and to me that kind of looks like a new perk something along the lines of juggernaut so of course they haven't announced whether traps are going to be in the game and they haven't announced whether perks are going to be in the game however that's what this looks like to me now this image is taken from a little later on this is the first real full-on headshot we have of the actual zombies themselves of course we have the concept images and that kind of stuff but this is like the first 
first actual headshot we have of one of what it looks like to be just a regular old zombie. This next one here, we kind of get to see the full body shots of the zombies, some of them missing limbs and that kind of thing, but also we can see one of the players that we can play as holding what looks like to me to be an STG-44. Which, by the way, they don't really show many weapons throughout this trailer, just a lot of different zombie stuff. This image really doesn't show much, but what it looks like to me is like a rolling blade of some sort of saw that looks once again to be something like a trap. So earlier we saw what the normal zombies look like. Now, if you look in this picture, this one obviously is a lot more bloody, a lot more gory. It's missing arms, missing a face itself, but I don't actually know what this is. I don't know if this is going to be what zombies look like as the game progresses. I don't know, maybe this is what like the dog rounds are going to be, something like this. I'm not 100% sure, but if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. And then they show us this, a very much clearer shot of this really mangled zombie. But the interesting part about this image to me is it's no longer in the sewers. This zombie is outside, you can see the night sky, which means this map that we're probably going to be playing on is going to take place both in the sewers and above ground as well. So then at this point, they stop showing video of the regular zombies and start showing images and the creation, as the character calls it in the trailer, of the devil himself, which is assumably going to be some sort of boss, whether it's just a boss you face at some sort of high round, or whether it's going to be a boss directly relinked with this very difficult to find easter egg, we're not really sure at this point, but we do know it's some sort of boss zombie. And as far as images and videos go, this is probably the clearest image we actually get to see of this boss zombie known as the devil himself. The only other thing we really get to see is him holding some sort of weapon in this image here. But that's really all I can say about this trailer. As far as what we can see here, I am really happy to see them take this twist with it, making it really dark, grimy, scary, bloody. Just really taking this twist with it is, I think, a really great direction for Call of Duty Zombies, and I can't wait to see some gameplay from it to see how it's actually going to work, whether there's going to be perks, whether there's going to be rounds, whether there's going to be traps, and all of these things so we can stop speculating and start getting prepared to play the map itself. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video it'd be great if you could hit that like button if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button we got plenty more call of duty world war 2 content coming thank you for watching and until next time peace out it's delicious.